Hey guys, today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step resin art tutorial. I'm just going to do it a little differently this time and I will talk through each step and my personal preference on how I do everything. So let's get started. I'm a dork, but let's do it. Okay. So how I start my setup for resin art is I lay out some cups to keep uh, the piece off of, you know, the workspace. So now I'm going to put my canvas down, but first I'm going to put some plastic on top of the cups just because I'm trying not to get any resin on the back of the canvas. So. There's that. And then now I'm going to start mixing my resin. And I'm actually gonna move this out of the way. Yeah. I do not like this angle. Okay, so how I start my resin art is as you can see my canvas is set on some cups just to keep it risen above from the workspace um, it just makes it easier if I want to pick it up and tilt and get a little movement in the resin so now I'm going to start measuring out the resin um, like I said previously if you've watched my latest video you do two parts a which is this a and then one part B so if I put 200 mils of this then I only put 100 of this if that makes sense there we go So I ended up pouring about 350 of part A and then 175 mils of part B, which is the hardener. And now you should mix this for about two minutes just to make sure that it's all mixed together as well as um, alleviates bubbles. And while stirring, I try and only stir in the same direction, which sounds ridiculous, but it's meant to help with less air bubbles, so might as well do it. Okay. Now that I'm done with mixing all of the resin together, it's been about two minutes. I just want to remind you that you have about 35, 40 minutes to work with this before it starts to cure. So just make sure you don't take forever or else you'll have a really hard time with movement. It'll just kind of reside in the same spot. So yeah, I'm going to show you the colors I've picked. Um, this is a little different color palette to what I normally use. Great, I made a mess. And I got all of these colors at Lincraft, which is, I think, just um, a craft store in um, Australia. So here's some greens that I want to use. And I might um, use this as like a base color to mix the other two. And then this very, very vibrant orange. Not my favorite color, but I used it on a piece in my Instagram and I actually fell in love so I'm gonna start using this more often and then 
this pale violet red, um, which we'll see how these colors go together, but I don't know, they just reminded me of nature. So I thought, why not? So since I have the resin already mixed up, I'm gonna lay out my cups and I think I'm going to use green as my base color. So we'll pour more resin into one cup just because that's gonna be the color I use most of. So I poured it to this line. Wow, I'm really bad at this. This line right here. So a majority of it is filled. Um, and kind of got to figure out what color I want to go with. I'll just put this right here. There you go. I think I want bright colors so you only want to put about five to ten percent of the pigment which I'm using acrylic paints so you don't want to have too much of the pigment in or else the resin will have a hard time curing which obviously you want it to look nice because the resin is very very expensive so yeah I probably put a little too much color but I don't want it to be clear so I guess you know, you just have to pick your battles. And then, if you can see how much color I put in there. And then this is the chrome oxide color. Oh crap. And we're gonna see how that turns out. That's okay guys. There we go. And when I am mixing acrylic paint with the resin, I try and push the acrylic down and then stir it. And again, same as when I was stirring the resin, is you wanna try and mix it in the same direction so you don't get too many air bubbles. Um, so, this is pretty vibrant. I don't know if you can see on here. Kind of reminds me of the lily pads. And you just want to make sure that you do this for a decent amount of time. Uh, just use your brains and you know, you'll be able to feel whether or not it's all mixed and be able to see it as well, which this all looks like one color. There's not much marbling going on, which is nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave. See, the pigment isn't too strong. So it might actually come out a bit uh, clearish. Like you're still gonna have a bit pigment, a bit of the pigment, but um, it's not going to be, I can't think of the word. Anyway, let's go with this orange now. And I'm going to put about half And again, 10, 10 to 15 percent uh, pigment in there, and the rest is going to be resin. Such a vibrant color! Oh my goodness, beautiful! So this is actually one of the more expensive um, acrylic paints that I'm using. And honestly, like, it goes a lot further than the cheaper ones, which is obvious, but, you know, I used very similar amount, probably even less of this orange compared to the greens, and it's just a lot more intense, which that's what I want. I don't want to be able to see the canvas very much because, I don't know, I don't really like the texture, but there we go. There's the orange, and then time for this pale violet red 
Also, I'm very curious how these colors are gonna go together, but you know what? I thought, why not, Bethany? Try something out of your comfort zone. So again, I let it sink to the bottom. Um, ooh, wow. This is very beautiful. Oh my goodness. I like it. Oh. Sorry guys. Wow. I think, yeah, I might do one more green. Um, I will do. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I think I'm just gonna use, um, however you pronounce this, green. It's it reminds me of like a tealish, which is probably wrong. I I don't know. It just has like blue bluish undertones, which I dig blue, so I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do less um, of this, so I have about uh, that much resin in there, just to that top line. And then push it to the bottom and stir. Now normally I have um, an idea or design and head to what I want to do, but today I'm kind of free, free balling it. I don't, mm, that's probably not the right saying, but, um, you know. Okay, I really, I liked my decision with this color for sure. This is probably, yeah. I'm gonna stir the green again. Okay. Now I need to decide what I want to do. I think I'm going to do a dirty pour. So that means I'm gonna start with this cup and I'm going to layer all of the four colors that I have and then I'm going to just pour it around and see what happens. Um, I think I'm gonna use the first green that I, I got, like a mossy, kind of clearish. Mm, no, I changed my mind. Sorry, guys. I'm so in the dark. I'm gonna go with the second green as um, the first layer. And this is all up to you how much you want. I'm not gonna make um, the whole canvas a dirty pour. I normally do, you know, half of it or maybe even less but um, just depends on your preference and what you have in mind. And then I went with um, like the reddish pink and then the orange. And I kind of sometimes do like a messy pour and I do like a little design in it. I don't know if it really affects it too much, but I just, I think it's a fun little thing to do. And then I'm gonna finish off with um, kind of like the clearer, um, not as pigmented green as the top. And you can already see that the resin is kind of dispersing. But I think I'm going to add, yeah. let's just, I don't really know what I want to do here. These aren't like really my color normally. So I'm going to do a dirty pour like this. So I flipped over the canvas and I'm flipping the cup over and there we go. Ooh. Don't know if this is my vibe. I think I used 
some darker colors that I don't normally. Ooh, the pink hues are coming through. And what you see me doing right now, I'm just tilting this canvas for a little movement within the dirty pour that I did. I feel like this is such a bad example. These are totally not the colors I normally do, but you know, I'm, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Changing it up. And kind of working my way over so I try and cover um, a majority of it. It has like um, a nice marble effect to it. Um, maybe I'll do a little, I have um, a straw and I'm gonna see how this effect adds any cells or anything like that. So now I'm going to do some individual colors. It's such a dark piece right now and that's not normally um, something I go for, I guess. So I'm gonna pour in some of the orange, do maybe like a little outline. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna go a few times. Maybe do a few dots in here. So again, I'm gonna get a little more movement. Um, it does actually have some really nice pigments going on, nice cells and everything, but I don't know, man. Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna get another cup. And I'm going to do green and the orange and I'm gonna see if I can get any cool cells um, I'm using a silicone based um, oil you can get this at Bunnings or any hardware store you can even get it at art stores as well but um, Lincraft doesn't have that kind of stuff so I'm not even going to mix it in. Um, I'm kind of just testing it out. Gonna see how this comes out. Really not vibing off of this. I don't know if I'm gonna use this footage, guys. Trial and error, I guess. This has to be one of my most horrible, ugly pieces I've ever done. I'm sorry that I should say that. I'm not quite vibing off of it. There's no resurrecting this piece. Now I'm just filling the empty spots don't really have a purpose. See, this is what happens when you don't have a purpose or an idea behind what you're trying to achieve. So this is a, a good example of have an idea before you start pouring. Because you're gonna waste like 50 bucks of, of Good 
drop battery. So this is just very messy. I'm still like totally so furious with myself right now. I wasted so much resin on this piece of... I'm not gonna say it. It doesn't even deserve to be said. So note to self, don't use colors that you're not vibing off. more lighter colors and hues to that which is nice um now i'm kind of just trying to cover up the last few massive white spots in the canvas This is the finished project or product I don't project let's go with project um I don't like the colors at all but it has some nice cells going on nice movement um, you know the colors aren't horrible it's just not my vibe really the glare there we go so yeah end product and I'm going to put some more resin right here because the cup has risen just a bit and caused some movement. But there we go. Sorry for the drab video, guys. <laughs>